I am analyzing the Boyd paradox. Descendant, Jeremy's actions caused the remains of the Executioner to send a signal into the Void. Unstable materials were stimulated by the Ironheart, and I'm sure Jeremy had some Void energy in his possession. I think that must have reacted with the Ironheart, sort of like jumpstarting it. Dead brides have always been bonded with Executioners. I believe this accounts for their immediate reaction to this signal. We don't have much time. Please, intercept, Descendant. Thank you. 
I am analyzing the void paradox. Death to the dead bride. I knew you could do it. You seem to have something on your mind, descendant. Is it about Alpha? I know he doesn't trust me. For my part, I would like to share all the data I have with him, but it's a mystery even to me as to why neither Jeremy nor Alpha can connect with me. I was never granted permissions to configure such things. But one thing I can tell you for certain, I am a code designed to protect Ingress. Descendant, so far I have provided the technology to not only search for Ironhearts, but also to track Colossi. It would be wonderful if you could find the third Ironheart with these technologies and work with Alpha to find a solution. Of course, there are some things that are more important even than that. With that in mind, please go and meet with Luna and Kyle. They seem to have information regarding a new Ironheart. It appears to be highly reliable. Luna, I said turn that music down. I can't think straight. Excuse me, this music is designed to relax your body and your mind. It only sounds loud and annoying to you because you don't have the soul of an artist. <laughs> <sighs> she just doesn't listen. How did I get landed with this kid? What? You have a problem with me? I'm an artist. I feel, enjoy, and perform music. Ugh, whatever. Hey, you! Come here! I've got something you need to know. Huh? I have so many melodies flowing through my head ever since I met the guide. But it feels like there's something missing. I could feel with my entire being that there was a final piece of the puzzle which would complete my song, but I couldn't figure out where it was. It was driving me crazy. So I snuck out without telling Alpha. I was careful not to get caught. I went toward where I felt the puzzle piece was, and eventually I arrived at the Agna Desert. That's when I heard a very loud melody. It reminded me of the one I heard on the day I met the guide. When I approached it to listen closer, I saw a red sphere. As soon as I saw the sphere, the melody was complete, and I felt it flow through my entire body. It was wonderful. But then, you know what happened? I ran into this big clunker here, saying that he'd felt some strange magnetic field or something. And that's when I realized the Iron Heart must be there. But then this Tin Brain started going on about smashing the Red Sphere open and taking the Iron Heart out by himself. I never said that I would smash it. I only wanted to have a look at it. Stop making things up. Whatever. Anyway, I had to tell Alpha all about it and came back to Albion on his orders. That's why Alpha is looking for you. Why are you so amazed by what this mad woman is saying? Don't just stand there, get moving! Who are you calling a mad woman? And you! Don't nod your head in agreement like that! Just get going and go see Alpha! Now! Got a question about the operation? I'm sure that Kyle and Luna told you what they saw, so I'll cut to the chase. Both of them believe that the Red Sphere in the Agna Desert very likely contains the Ironheart. This is a golden opportunity for us. There's no guarantee that the Ironheart is actually inside the Sphere, but it's the best shot we've had so far, and the Magisters agree. I've mobilized a team to investigate the Red Sphere. That includes you. The excavation team will also be joining you, as they were working in the Agna Desert until recently. I hope this operation secures us an Ironheart. The incident with Jeremy included, we always watch the Ironheart slip through our fingers right before our eyes. If we can't defeat Karel, even with our strategic asset, the Guide, at our disposal, 
The future of humanity is grim. Good luck. hero come to seek answers for, I wonder. Well, it's finally time for a proper introduction. My name is Reyna, and I head up the world's best excavation team. Nice to meet you. The Agna Desert. This place is paradise for us on the excavation team. There are so many exciting things to uncover, including the ruins of the ancestors. And the Red Sphere. We've never seen it before, and there are no records of it either. That's why we want to dig into it and figure out what it is ourselves. If the Iron Heart really is inside it, it'll be a historic discovery for the excavation team. And that's why I wanted to talk to you, to let you know that I am fully invested in this operation, and I look forward to working with you. See you in the desert. the last remaining Ironheart. That makes me a little worried, but I'll give this mission my all, regardless. Kyle is doing aerial recon to see if the Volgus are up to anything. Luna's focusing on sensing the beat generated from the Ironheart, and she's also listening out for the unique noises generated by Volgus movements, of course. Ah, I can see her expression changing. See the way she's frowning? I think that means the Volgus are on the move. We need to create an environment where she can concentrate. Descendant, take care of him. For Luna to be able to concentrate, you must pacify this wasteland. Kite, there's a lot of reverb coming from you. Quiet. Oh, I see. Shh.
quality is pretty low by. But it'll have to do. Ascendant, we've located the radar that was installed in this zone at Luna's request. The radar must be defended. It was installed specially to help us with the Red Sphere.
what that means. And judging by the way his voice echoed, we should be looking for somewhere indoors. Nice job. Just sent the coordinates. Go check it out. a facility that the ancestors used. If what Luna and Reyna are saying is correct, the data the Vulgus are extracting while underground must be related to the Red Sphere and the Ironheart. It won't be easy to bypass the security system set up by the ancestors, but we shouldn't underestimate Vulgus technology either. Let's hurry. We must stop the enemy before they extract all the data. The reason the excavation team couldn't reach here is because the Volgas started digging here first. Anais told me that they brought the Magisters here, the ones who didn't escape, and forced them to work. That's why this place is called the Asylum. According to Anais, 
The magisters who were brought here for forced labor might have found some information, but they couldn't have solved the code. Actually, they probably pretended not to know the code. She said that we have to hurry up with the search anyway. The Vulcan security increased their decryption speeds, <laughs> especially since operations in the sterile land. <laughs> data we obtained from the enemy. The most frequently mentioned words are seal, red sphere shell component, and conflict. I have assessed the shell analysis data. The shell is composed of a similar material to the links surrounding the iron heart. Combining all of the data, I believe we can conclude that the ancestors inserted the iron heart into the red sphere.
war that broke out in Vespers. Perhaps the ancestors sealed the Iron Heart inside the Red Sphere because they felt that a simple vault couldn't hold it. I cannot figure out the exact steps they took, but the important thing is that the sealing was successful. Thank <laughs> you. 
equipment in the center is compressing the data from the ancestor devices around it. Decryption rate, 65%. Compressed data, 40%. I'm going to collect data from whichever device I can connect to first.
business. Decryption protocol activated. Compressed data extraction complete and security removed. Beginning analysis. The data contained records of the ancestors who tried to remove the Ironheart, their operation plans, and the blueprint for the special weapon to break the seal. The weapon's power source was... Arcane. If we can use this information effectively, we'll be able to obtain the Ironheart safely. We must inform Alpha and come up with a plan. Got a question about the operation? Welcome back. Is there anything you want to report? Are you saying that this record was left by the ancestors who tried to use the Ironheart? And an ancient arcade weapon. What were they trying to do with the Ironheart? Were they trying to close the dimensional wall just like we're trying to do now? I don't have time to think about that right now. We'll begin operations to dig up the Red Sphere and break out the Iron Heart using the RK weapon. Descendant, we will check the safety of the weapon thoroughly, so don't worry. Also, deciphering the composition of the Red Sphere was quite beneficial for us. It allowed us to start immediate production of dismantling materials. We are mass producing them, just in case. Luna and Reyna are investigating the weapon. So I want you and Kyle to clear out all enemies within the vicinity of the Red Sphere. The RK weapon and the material to destroy the Red Sphere are both ready. As long as we have no troublemakers impeding our operation, there shouldn't be any problems. We should definitely be able to get the Ironheart first this time. Alpha appears to be focused on how to use the Ironheart. He doesn't seem to be concerned about how it came to be sealed away in the first place. I want to know why the Ancestors concealed the Iron Heart. At the risk of conflict and separation, there must be a good reason. Hey, what's taking you so long? Hurry up! <laughs> 